Okay, so I wanted to show off the latest build. Um, this is basically the one I want to show off, this thing here. So this is an application I've created. So it opens up like this. There, um, I had a couple apps I was working on. So I think this one, like I have a, a like a password locker application. So I could like uh, lock passwords. So like for a certain amount of time, basically, it would lock them. Like this one's locked until at the end of the year. Some of these are already like ready to unlock. And then there's a way that I can go in and, and unlock these. So it's just like a thing that I was testing out as well that was useful. Um, here is uh, a distraction-free sort of like YouTube app that I created a while back. And I can finally start to now customize this more specifically for this device. So like instead of having all of YouTube, which is super distracting, I've like predefined some categories and added just a little bit of content um, so that you can watch some videos, but it's like a highly curated thing with not much content on it. So like these are all these categories are gonna change. They won't even necessarily show up as categories. I'm just showing this as like an example. Um, so if I wanted to get in like, okay, let me watch some, uh, oops, I tapped on the wrong thing. I'm going to have to make these um, bigger for uh, mobile use. You know, this is like for a mouse and keyboard. So, but anyway, I mean, I, uh, whatever, let's just try this one. So... Like there's some software development videos. Here's one about like e-ink uh, display. This is a 32 inch e -ink. So you can see the videos are cut off. Uh, so I'm gonna have to reformat this application like for mobile. But the idea is that like there's some content, right? Like some, 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 not everything's available. Um, but some content, so you can allow like a little bit of it to come through, and yeah, I mean, you know, so don't worry about the, the, the categories of videos or anything like that, I'm just showing that it's possible to have some content on this device without having the entirety of distracting applications like YouTube, for example. So it's going to be... Um, it's almost like... It's, I'm always showing things off when they're, it's way too early to show them off. But I'm just showing that there's application here that even though there's no browser or app store there's still some ability like I, that I can start to create custom applications in here to do various other things that are more productivity focused. Like I have a, I have a study um, background like study video application that uh, is not this, but it just sort of cycles through study music. So if I can click on this successfully so it would just like cycle through these study music videos automatically kind of a thing as opposed to uh, what this is right now so like pretty soon there's going to be a study music app so you could just you know load up like you just open up the study music app and it just starts playing background music for studying. That type of thing. 